So the first question is quite a sentence and a half to read. Um, you need to modify this pretest style. But before you do that, you actually need to find the text that is formatted with the style. If you just scroll through the document, you can't really find anything that looks like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and say select all. Now at the moment it says no data, but hang a second and you'll see the moment you say select all, it's actually found for instances. Because if I right click again now, it says select all for instances. So it's actually found it. It just seems that someone's changed the font of this after the style was applied. All right, so firstly, we need to change the shading or fill color. So to do that, we're going to go right click, modify. I'm modifying the style itself, not the text that's formatted with a style. Modify. The shading you can find under border. Go to shading, fill color, and I just choose solid red. Next, I need to change the font size to 18. I can do, do that straight from here, or I could go down to the font section over there. Okay, now it's updated it with the color and the font size change, but the font itself, the type of font, is still different if I look at the example of the style. So uh, while this is still selected, I'm just going to apply this again, just so that it looks exactly like the style that they've asked for. Next, I need to apply or find a synonym for a word sweet, but I can't see this word sweet now. So I'm just going to press Control F to bring up my navigation pane and type in the word sweet. And I think that's the one it was looking for. Yes. So um, what you can do is you can always use the navigation pane to find stuff quite easily um, and then just click in that section before you close the navigation pane. All right, so I need to replace this with a synonym for sweet. So if I right click, I can go to synonyms and I'll just choose the first one. I need to prepare this document for reviewing. So I'm going to go to review tab. And the first question they're asking is to change the reviewer's username. So you go here to tracking, you open the dialog launcher and you can say change username. And then you can just change your username in the section over there and say OK. Next, I need to apply a comment to specific text. Um, this is the preventing type 2 diabetes. So I select that text and I'm going to say new comment and I'll just type in stop. Now you'll see even though we changed the reviewer's name, it still gives my own name in the comments. So if you look at the memo, they actually didn't award a mark for changing the reviewer's username because it can't be seen. Um, I've set my comments to not show. So just so you see, if it's set to show, it, the page has this extra enormous right margin. So I've just taken that off. Next, we need to do a find and replace. Um, so I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to go to Replace. And I need to replace the word pre with capitals pre and if I go to the first one you'll see here by more I need to change it that it finds pre wherever it's a prefix so not anywhere in the word just where it's a prefix so pre it must match the prefix and I'm going to say replace all 13 replacements now I need to insert a table of figures so I just stand right underneath table of figures and I go to References, Insert Table of Figures. They didn't say I need to change anything, so just OK. Now we are working with form fields again. Um, you need to have your Developer tab activated for this. So if you don't, you can go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and just switch on Developer tab if it's not on already. So we're going to start with the form field next to the word Name. And I need to change this to only accept capital letters. I can go to Developer Properties or I can just right click on this and say Properties. And I'm going to change the text format to uppercase. Now I need to insert a checkbox after this bit of text. So I'm going to just click there. And it's a form field checkbox. So the um, checkbox content control isn't available anyway. 
it's not the active X one, it's the form field, checkbox form field. Just hover over it and check that you're choosing the right one. And I need to change this one that the default value should be checked. So I'm just going to go to properties and say default value must be checked. Lastly, I need to remove one of the items from this drop down list. So again, I'm just going to go to properties and I need to remove the stop suites item. So I'm going to just click on it and say remove. Lastly, I need to insert a page border for this page only. So at the moment I have four pages and if I switch on my show hide, you'll see this is just a regular page break. So that's going to be a problem. Um, if I look at the options I have available in my page border selection, it's either the whole document, this section, first page only, or everything except the first page, and none of these will do except the section, but it's not a section yet. So to make this a section by itself, I'm going to switch on my show height so that I see what I'm doing, take away the page break, and insert a section break, next page section break. And now I'm standing in the correct section and I can go to design page borders and I'm just going to choose apples or whatever. And instead of applying to the whole document, I need to apply to this section only. There we go.